Hi there, it's Janice Johnson from JazzleDazzleCrafts.com. I'm an independent stamping up de demonstrator working in Scotland. Um, today I wanted to share with you um, my stamparatus again. And um, again, it's just using it in a simple way. It does loads of things and over the next few weeks we'll go over some of the other things it does. But just for today, I'm batch making some thank you cards that I need. Um, I recently did a charity event and lots of ladies helped to make cards for their own old MacDonald house in Glasgow. Um, I had a really good turnout. We made up some of our lovely um, Stampin' Up! card kits and the ladies really enjoyed that. So I obviously wanted to thank them on behalf of myself and the Ronald McDonald charity for their efforts. So um, I need quite a lot of cards. So it's best, you, the stamp this is really good when you want to make a lot of cards that are much the same. So for this card, I've actually been using the Beauty of Bound set and I've taken my thank you from Petal, Petal Palette has this stamp set petal palette has this nice thank you with the nice font that I quite rather liked. So I'm using this stamp from Be <laughs> Beauty Abounds. So I'm going to get that ready and I've got my thank you stamp there as well. So this big stamp here I'm going to use from Beauty Abounds. I'm getting that out and I'm just going to show you how easy it is to make a few cards in one go. I actually have made a few. I've coloured this one and made it up just to let you see. But I'll let you see the stamping process. I'm doing the stamping with the Stamparatus, the two black parts, which are the sentiment and this beautiful um, stamp with the flowers and leaves. And then I'm colouring them in, in with ink and adding some other stamps randomly by using blocks. So there's a bit of everything in this card. But it's still simple and in lots of ways it is still simple stamping. It just needs, it just used some bits and pieces more. So pop that aside. We lined up here. So I'm bringing in my first piece of card and my stamp. So I had actually done about eight of these and then realised I needed more so I thought it would be good to just share the process with yourself. So I want this stamp just roughly using the composition I used on this other card. So I want that one there and I want my thank you down here. Just making sure it's straight. Take that away over there. So that's how I want. So I've cut four pieces of card here ready. So just do it with me. Well, watch with me and we'll show you how quick this can be. In actual fact, I'm not going to use the magnet because sometimes I find that causes me more problems than it solves. So I'm just inking up. I'm actually going to ink up both stamps. I'm using my memento so that then I can colour it in. Because I'm going to use Wink of Stella and not um, like an aqua painter or something, memento would work perfectly well. However, if you were going to use actual water colouring, then it would probably be better to use... <laughs> oh my God, what's going on? It's not good today. Oh, goodness me, stays on. <laughs> The words. So there's that, the flowers and the thank you and a grey hair on it. And my grey hair has managed to get a bit of ink in it but never mind. It's not that bad. Maybe I need to, I don't know, my, I've not been too well lately so my hair has been falling out so maybe I need to wear a net when I'm stamping because that wasn't great. Right and then down and then thank you. And 
And you see, if you were making a large batch, which I may well be doing something similar, if we're going to on stage, I might be doing a batch of cards and again, stamp it at. This will be the job, do the job nicely. <sighs> Not long till I go and I haven't really decided what my swaps are going to be. And So there you go, four card fronts done just like this, lid on ink, and where's my, let's clean these stamps off, oops, one was easier to cling because it, it's on with a cling mount stamp so it stays put a bit better so we'll pop them away she lied put my magnet back in its home and put the stamp apparatus away and then got some more that are stamped here. I'll just leave those ones that I've just done, let them dry a bit longer and I can show you what I've done here with this one. So it's in my wink of Stella for stamp um, painting with and I'm going to put some splodges in this set. There's a lovely splodgy, that's what I call a splodgy stamp set. And I want to make these all relatively uniform so I'm just roughly it's really quite delicate so I am doing it more or less first generation stamping because it is quite even fully inked it gives just a very subtle bit of texture so I'm going to put that aside then I'm going to change to my blue Bammy blue. I'm going to have some Bammy blue butterflies. One there. One there. And there we go. We're using the rule of threes. And the rule of thirds. I'm not, well, I'm not sure I'm using the rule of thirds here, but I'm certainly using the row of threes. So we've got three splodges and we've got three butterflies. And then I'm just going to colour in. So I'm using my wink of Stella and I've got a bit of a, a microfiber cloth here. And you know what, I'm going to clean this paper up with something sticky on it so I'm actually going to change it. I'll use this I'll use this scrap for when I'm doing um, embossing. So I'm just looking for a bit of scratch paper when I'm doing that. Right, so the first ink to come to hand is my Mango Melody. And what I do is I just use, I just, before I open the pad, I just squeeze it together. Just squeeze it with your thumbs. It's quite pliable. And put a little bit of ink in the lid and I just use the lid as my palette. You can do other things. You could pop it on a stamping block. The ink, you could put some ink on a stamping block and just work from there. But um, then I end up putting my hand on it and I already have a block with ink on it somewhere around and I don't even know where it is so there's every chance I'm going to get covered in something soon so 
Oh, I think I might have just put it to get clean. So, anyway. So I just, using a bit of Mango Melody, I'm just doing these ribbony bits here in Mango Melody. It's just, you don't have to be too accurate. Just kiss a watercolour look. But by using the Wink of Stella, you're giving the watercolour look with a bit of sparkle. What's not to like? So that's that. But then I'm going to use Granny Apple Green for the leaves. Again, I've got some in the lid that I've sorted earlier when I was doing the other one. I'm just clearing the colour off onto my microfiber cloth and picking up the green and just popping in some green into the leaves. Some colour with sparkle. There we go. So, what have you been stamping recently? Have you shared? Do you know that I have a community Pinterest board and I would love it if you shared your makes on there? I'll put a link to it um, down below. If you find me on Pinterest and ask me, message me, ask me, find me on Facebook and ask me to add you as a collaborator onto my Pinterest board and you can pin on my board as well. I've made it of a community board so we can all share our craftiness. It doesn't always have to be stamping. I'm sure most of us crafty people do lots of other crafts so you can share all your crafts on there. So that's my green added in for my leaves and now I'm doing the flowers in blue. Bammy blue. Just to squeeze some in. There we go. Pick some up. I'm not sure, actually, do you know what? I didn't clean the green off. That wasn't so clever, was it? I'm going to clean this off and start again. And then clean my... I do want bammy blue, not some kind of mixture of green and bammy blue, which is probably quite... Um, Pretty, but it's not the effect I'm after today. So again, just squeezing the pad down on, or do it that way to pick up. And then open up. Stick your thumb in it as usual, Janice. And then just a bit... Particularly giving it full coverage, just you know, just introducing the colour and the sparkle in. Nothing too heavy. I love Bammy Blue. And now that we're into spring, I think these are beautiful spring colours. I hope the ladies will like them. And they get them. I certainly appreciated their help. And do you know what? The kits are such fun. I think I might um, show you a kit on video soon and show you what, how you maybe do one with you guys watching on. What do you think? Let me know. So that's the blue. What I wanted to do was a bit of um, mango melody in the centre of the flower. So I'm just going to clean this off again. So what I've done is the stamping, and um, what I'll probably do is I'll actually be able to just stick the, uh, oh for goodness sake Janice, I'll be able to stick them back on to the, I'll be able to stick them onto the card base, so excuse me, and then 
I can sit when I'm watching TV and colour them in at night. I don't know how well you can see that. It's, do you know what? It's quite subtle, really, although these are str well, the me mango melody is quite a strong colour, and so is the granny apple green, but they don't look too strong when you do it this way. So there we go. Colouring done. Clean your wink of Stella so that the next time you use it, you're not going to transfer the last colour you used. Okay, and I've got a Mango Melody card base here. I'm just going to pop this and I'm just going to use a bit of snail, quick and easy. Quick and easy lemon squeezy as they say here. There we go, I just need to line that up and somehow I find it easier if I do it this way. Voila. There we go. So, do you think your card's ready? Very similar. So the ladies are receiving something very similar. What do you think if you're going to be making invitations or like me have to batch make thank you cards or do you know anything, anything like that? How great do you think that is? Use your stampin' art just to do your basics. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe um, below, share with your friends and also if you hit the bell icon you will um, get notification of when the next video is coming out. Let me know what you think of this card ladies and if you would like to be added to my community Pinterest board I'd be delighted to have you share your work there. Thank you very much. See you next time.